Strangers reveal their deepest regrets. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, what's your biggest regret? Uh, I should have had more fun in college. I'm loving certain exes. Not being a better for my religion. Not starting YouTube earlier. The definition of regret is to feel sad, repentant, or disappointed over something that has happened or been done, especially a loss or missed opportunity. So today, I decided to ask these strangers what some of their biggest regrets. He's right regrets. there in, in New York, too. He's not in Harlem. What's my biggest regret? I don't know if I have one. Because, like... To have a regret me, it, it implies that I know what's going to happen as a result of changing a course of action. So I can be like, yeah, man, I, I wish that one girl, I can, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know if I was even supposed to be with her. Like, I don't know how that, I don't even know. Like, it assumes that you know an outcome of how something is going to happen. So it's hard for me to have regrets. I Do I wish things went differently? Absolutely, as does everybody else, but a regret? Like, I wish I didn't do this. Like, who's to say that it would have went any better? You don't know. That's where. Make sure to watch to the end of the video for a special surprise. Yeah. Hi, who we here with? Isaiah. Skaya. Imani. G. Bruno. Joao. Jordan. Brandon. Alexis. Remy. Ashton Barnes. BJ. Oh, what's your biggest regret? Uh, staying in Brooklyn for college. My biggest regret being like disrespectful to my mother. That's respectable, Aww. bro. I, I feel that one, bro. Aww. Spending all the money I ever spent because I can't get it back. Brooklyn is not it. Where would you rather go? You Albany. Okay. Partying. All day. <laughs> Spend all that. You trying to get crushed. You trying to get crushed. Like it's me, you know. Where would you rather go? You Albany. Okay. Partying. All day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just listen to them. Sometimes you just got to listen to people, bro. Like, niggas think I'm quiet. And I am. Niggas think I'm introverted. And I am. But it's not because I can't be extroverted or I don't want to be. Sometimes I just want to sit back and just let niggas tell on themselves. Like, yeah, you know, I just want to, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Word. Word. You know, I'm I'm peeping game, but I'm just keeping it P. I ain't reacting like, what you want? Natty defensive. Just keep it P. Just just write that down in your head. Like, yeah, you know, I really want to party. I just want to have fun. I want to be free. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that makes sense. Type shit. Spend all that cash? Yes. Probably be the car that I bought. I bought a 2011 BMW 135i. When I was in college, I definitely should have locked in a little bit more. You know, just help set myself up later in life, you know? Poor financial decision. Yeah, some people might view it as that, but I had enough money to buy it twice, and as long as you could buy something twice, I don't really feel like it's a financial mistake. Yeah, locking in on academics? Absolutely. My biggest regret was mixing light liquor. They say don't mix light and dark. But thing is, good. she regret fucking that little ass. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> no, she's wild. I didn't go to the Renaissance tour when I was in Vancouver. Okay. I was on the fence about the tickets. It's like, oh, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. But I should have gone. Probably not maintain a relationship with my family. It's not being there. Not being there for my wife when she needed me the most. At moments, I feel like I could have probably stuffed them in certain ways, you know? Family's important, especially in times like Family's really important, man. Not trying out for stuff in my country. So should've gone, regret. you should've lived life. Yeah, 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 exactly. She is so Stuff out here in New York, there's a lot of people my age just working, going home, talking to nobody. I'm sure we got friends and shit, but family situation, it's not just a black thing, it's everybody. Like. Mine is uh, honestly not moving to New York sooner. I moved here at the start of February after living in SF for like four years. Trust me, man. Give you stuff, so family's important. Don't ever forget that. I don't really got none, bro. No regrets? Nah. Biggest regret, when I was like 11, I auditioned for a show called Everybody Hates Chris, and they- Stop. Stop. They actually called me back on my house phone. Yeah. Well, because my mom always avoided bill collectors. Yeah. She never answered the phone. Oh my gosh. That's gotta be, that's gotta be a, a, a sermon, bruh. That's gotta be a sermon. You literally just blocked, bro. You could have been sad. You could have been that nigga. Oh, we didn't check the voice answer machine until like two weeks later. My biggest regret, bro. Being oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta put that behind you though. You can't. You can't let that sit with you though. You gotta move on, cause that could easily eat a nigga up. Like, yo, I can't believe I missed out on this opportunity, bro. But. Life goes on. Being born a ginger. That shit is tough, bro. Bro, Ed Sheeran? Yeah. So, yeah. they actually called me back for another round. Uh-huh. If only we uh, we kept our bills paid on time, we would've... You would've been in Everybody Hates Chris? 
would have been everybody hits Chris, yeah. Oh, I was talking to this girl, and we were on a date, and like, you know, it was a perfect moment to kiss her, but I, I didn't do it. I chicken out. Damn. Yeah. Give it an ugly man the time of day. They think they're cuter than you. Like, don't forget. They ain't going? Nah, like, I regretted the day after she told me she wasn't ready for it. My biggest regret is dropping out of college and quitting football. Not fucking up enough in my 20s. Like, that's a time to really find yourself. He looks like he could still be in his 20s, though. Self, I feel like, and I feel like I, I usually play things on the safe side, so just be more free then. I would say for every fight I had with my parents, I regret. You regret having a fight with your parents? Yeah. Like going out more, living life, or yeah. what type? I'm more like not knocking myself on the mistakes because I feel like I've learned the most from those. So just not being afraid to do more of that. That's fact. Mistakes make you. That's true, man. So in college, I was uh, walking back to the dorms once, mm -hmm. and I saw this girl, and she's really, really pretty, mm -hmm. and I was like. Oh no, I probably should go talk to her. You probably should. Yeah, so I went and talked to her, mm -hmm. and then I've had to keep talking to her for the last nine years. <laughs> okay, is that her right there? Allegedly. Allegedly? Yes. <laughs> my biggest regret would probably be cutting my hair as soon as it gets long every year. I'm trying out for my fifth grade soccer team. You hate soccer? Yeah. You want to let it grow out? Yeah. Grow the fro, I feel it. Not fighting with my ninth grade math teacher. Oh, you want to throw hands with him? Yeah, fuck yeah. Like, one of my biggest regrets is like not listening to your parents that much. Like, cause your parents brought you to this world and your parents are here. Bro, I don't to help. like these, I don't like these answers. Help you become a better person, be successful. It's your job to like help them provide, help them pay the bills and stuff. So yeah. I, can res I respect that, boy. I my biggest regret is not taking advantage in certain moments that never come back. It's hard to Niggas get in front of the camera and start acting like they all deep. Niggas is not deep like that. Not everybody is deep. Like, stop playing. Like, this is real interview. Like, this shit feel mad authentic, bro. This feels so, like, real and so raw. Like, I really feel like I could have seen him in Brooklyn doing these intervals. He, he could have popped up with me like, yo, what's your biggest regret? Like, I really feel it, but this isn't right. Um, Blame, I'm not but I, I do music and things. There's some people I wish I collabed with that I was in the studio with them when I should have just spoke up. When I was younger, I went to some like school dance. You know the like the glasses with no lenses. Yeah, the no frame glasses. I had dumb shits on with suspenders, nigga, a tie, nigga, yo, it was bad. <laughs> but one of my biggest regrets is not starting this YouTube channel earlier, man. I promise y'all I'm gonna run this shit up. Alright, what's your biggest regret? Run it up, run it up. Fuck, yeah. man. You're looking at it right now, bro. This is pretty bad right now. You know, I gotta, like, get it looking nice, you know what I mean? I gotta pick it up. See, right. you had the little SpongeBob fit on. Oh, and niggas be breaking this shit out, the pictures out, every every chance they get, bro. I cut my hair, because the reason I cut it was because uh, two of my teammates and I cut it at the same time. Yeah. But they, they had, like, like fucked up cuts. They had like a mohawk and a, and a high top. Oh, that. and that high top is yeah, crazy. You can't have a high top. I should have had more fun in college. What's your biggest regret? Choosing the wrong friend. It's a good one. No one to pay back. I should have, you know. Do you regret like taking on the loans? Kinda, yeah. So they was just going to get taper resets, and I already yeah. had a taper, so I just cut my hair for no reason. I could have had Damn. bad hang time on the braids. I would say not playing basketball when I was younger. You know, okay. I'm pretty tall. You know, I feel like I would be pretty good, nah, but I'm that's ass. Cap. That's cap. Because I'd still fry him every time. I still Dating a man for longer than I should have. <laughs> you regret that? I definitely do. Biggest regret is not showing love to my mom. You know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate her sacrifice. I just, I just couldn't be here without her and God. You know what I mean? And, yeah, family's and, important. Definitely. The queen that she is, you know, I, I, I regret not letting her know that in my teenage years, you know, mm -hmm. growing up, being resentful and just thinking about the world outside and not realizing like I got that love inside you know what I mean? if any D1 teams are looking at me right now <laughs> hey they might the scouts might be watching you right now bro they they could be tapped in we got to stop the cap you really won't get better in anything if you don't have mistakes so facts that's, and, that's, and taking a risk yo taking a risk that hey, risk you'll be like you'll never miss that moment again the biggest regret was not taking a trip to mexico when i had a, a final exam coming up i opted to study for it and it didn't even really do that well and all my buddies went down there and had a great time my biggest regret is uh selling my houseboat in miami i was living for uh 400 bucks a month in a dock and i just didn't i didn't tough it out talking to this girl I ain't gonna lie, a lot of stuff almost happened. I got mad trust issues with females now, and it's just crazy, you feel me? Not being a better my religion, which I'm a Muslim, and I would want to be a better person, okay. and pray more, and like read more Quran. Mm -hmm. So like, from a religious point of view, I'll say that. I was living in a boat, though. Uh, it was hot. Did you just save a lot of money, like, living in a boat? 
Uh, I, I became broke pretty quick. Regret-wise, like, just not starting YouTube earlier. Biggest I, fact. I wish I started this channel earlier, too, bro. Word of bro. Starting to YouTube, just taking a risk, taking getting a out risk. there, man. You're going to expect so many people to be like, subscribe, but it's going to be the strangers that, that are actually caught but up. You know, the interesting like thing is, like, we see it as a risk, but everything we do is a risk. Like, starting a YouTube channel is a risk, and not starting it is a risk. Like, I don't, like, I think it's just a change of of a frame we need to reframe the way we see life like yo like i'm gonna take that risk and start that channel versus like yeah i'm taking a big risk i'm not I, you know i've decided to not start that channel and take a big risk like you literally risking your entire life not starting that channel starting that channel you really not like you really not risking as much going after it as you are not going after it because that risk of having that regret Bro, that's what niggas be in their 90s talking about. I wish I did. I, nobody regrets taking that risk. Nobody regrets like, yeah, you know, I was talking to this girl. I, I, or I, you know, I went for the job or I, you know, I did that thing that I was scared to do when it failed. But nobody thinks about that in their 90s and be like, yeah, I, I was so embarrassed. Nobody gives a fuck at that point. In 90s, niggas don't give a fuck about nothing. Niggas give a fuck about waking up. That's it. Like, that's all niggas can care about. Like, damn, bro, you actually cool with me. Yeah. You're going to see. Strangers will really be your biggest supporters, man. Look around you. Everybody that they tell you not to like usually be the ones that support you. Remember that. Yup. All right, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Yeah. That. Yo, in that bread. Mm. Mm. Get to that bed. Fuck all these bitches. Mm. Focus on that bread. Yo, to be talk to me, yeah. bad. Yo, I just pick up a bad bitch on the um on down the train station. Mm -hmm. Big booty over there. Yo, you got, yo, if y'all. Yo, why are you out of breath? Want a vice? Tell the lady you look beautiful, by the way. T tell her. Blue face, baby. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Follow this man. This yeah. man gonna really blow up. Come on, bro. Lock in. You're not really tapped in. You got really tapped in.